Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome back to Aruba Proof of Concept Lab in Grenoble. So a few days ago, I received my brand new 8360 CX series switches. And I would like to take this opportunity to show you a very nice new improvements of Aruba Central for CX management. So I would like to present the UI management for CX switches. So my switches are now installed, connected to the management network. Uh, they finished booting and are connected to Central. So of course I added serial numbers and MAC addresses to let Central uh, manage both switches. So let's have a look on network operations. As you can see, I'm connected to the European Central cluster, which is now running 2.5.3 revision. Okay, so both 8360 switches are here. So you can see the serial numbers. So now, as usual, the first task is to create uh, the group. So let's go to the group management screen. New group, let's call it 8360 VSX UI and password. Perfect. So our new group is created. I will not add yet <coughs> the switches to this group. Let's do some initial configuration before. Now, if I select my new created group, I can start configuring some common settings for my both switches. So devices, switches, and now I can see I have this new icon, AOS CX configuration. So let's click on it. And we can see this new user interface menu, letting us configure some basic settings for the CX devices. So let's start with properties. So here I can configure my location, France, Grenoble. I will select my time zone. CET, VRF management, and I will add my DNS servers. Same for the NTP. and the management password. Now I can set SNMP community string. Let's set it to Aruba, save, and finally my authentication servers. So in my lab, I'm using radius authentication with a clear pass. So I will add the IP addresses of my both clear pass servers. Reachable through the management VRF. I need to specify the secret and the same for the second one. Once my server is configured, I can set the authentication for my admin access. So let's start with the console. For the console, I prefer to use local authentication. 
and then the default one. First I select local and then radius. And here I can see I will have the first radius authentication with the fallback to local. Okay, so now I will add my both switches to the new created group. And then we will check on the device level if the configuration was correctly applied. I'm now connected to both switches using console ports. So let's check what we configure it using central. So first to the NTP show NTP servers, I can see my both servers IP addresses. So now associations, okay, perfect. My switch is synchronized with NTP and finally show clock. It's correct with the time zone set to CET. SNMP show SNMP system. So I can see I configure it France Grenoble and I'm running 10.6.112 revision. Show SNMP community Aruba, exactly what I configured on central. And the last show radius server. I can see my both ClearPass IP addresses I set using central user interface. Perfect. So now let's move back to central and configure some individual settings for each switch. Back to central. So now let's reconfigure the management network. Currently my management IP addresses are assigned using DHCP. In my lab, I prefer to use static IPs, so let's change it. First thing, I need to add a default road through my management interface. So let's select management BRF and next hop. Save. So this is done. And now I will go under the switch level to set its IP address. Devices, I'm in the configuration mode, ports and links aggregation. And now I can edit my out of band management interface and set a static IP address. admin app, of course. And I will do the same with the second switch. So now let's check on the switch level if this change was correctly reflected. Looking on my switch console, I can see now the IP address is a static 10.5.10.53 default gateway as expected. And if I try to ping it, It works fine. Same for the second switch, 10.5.10.54, same default gateway. And let's ping it. 
Perfect. So now let's move back to Central to continue with other settings. Now let's configure the separate name for each switch. So going back to the list, I will select my switch, devices, and on the system properties, now I can set the name. Perfect. And last, I will go back to the group level and add two VLANs for my tests. For the voice VLAN, I can specify the voice tag. Perfect. So now if I check the list, I can see my both switches are not yet in sync because I just changed the configuration. So they are synchronizing. And now let's go to some new functionality of Central. Now let's move to some more advanced configurations. I would like to set up VSX for my both switches. So as you can see, this is not possible using the user interface. Of course, it will be introduced later, uh, but at this stage, I need to use the multi-edit functionality. So let's try. If I enable multi-edit, I'm getting the list of my switches. I need to select both and then edit config. Now let's wait a little bit. And as you can see, we are coming with something very similar to NetEdit. So this is really the first NetEdit integration with Aruba Central. <clears throat> so let's start configuring our VSX. First, I will configure my Keep Alive VRF. Then the ISL, so I'm using the lag one interface. LACP active mode, so this is really recommended setting. And my ISL is connected to the ports 35 and 36. Now the Keep Alive on the port 1132. And 
as on NetEdit, you can customize the IP addresses for both switches. Last, let's configure the VSX. So I need to customize the roles, primary and secondary. And of course, the IP addresses for the Keep Alive. Once we are done, you just save the changes and now the whole configuration will be validated on each switch level and then loaded to both switches. So now let's have a look on the console ports if our VSX is operational. On the switch level, we can see the VSX config was added. So now let's check first, the ISL show LACP aggregates. So we can see the interface was configured with the ports 1135 and 1136. Now show LACP interfaces. So both ports are correctly configured and in the distributed status. Let's check the VSX, show VSX status looks good in sync and operational and last keep alive keep alive established perfect so now let's go again to central and configure some layer 3 interfaces as a I would like to set up the active gateway for both layer 3 interfaces so I need to use multi-edit functionality. So once again, let's select both switches, edit config. I already configured VLANs 221 and 222 using the user interface. So now I will just add both layer three interfaces using multi-edit. And now, as you can see, I'm using the same IP address for the physical switch interface and the active gateway IP address. Perfect. Let's save and I'll have a look again on the console port to validate my IP addressing. As you can see, now my both layer three interfaces are configured. Show IP interface brief. I can see both IP addresses. Same on my VSX appear. So everything is okay. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this short presentation and talk to you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.